So online safety bill is passing through Parliament today and is going to become an act. It's going to gain royal assent. Here's three ways in which rather than make you safer, the online safety bill is going to harm you and your family. Number one, the law is going to introduce age gating off the internet. So this isn't just uh, adult content sites as you might traditionally think of them. It's also going to be websites like Reddit or Twitter that might contain some adult content on them. Age gating of the internet comes with new privacy concerns and it, it puts users at risk of uh, increases in phishing attacks because there's going to be more fake websites trying to get you to upload your documents and personal information in order to access that website. That in turn becomes a privacy risk and a cybersecurity risk. So a far better approach is actually something like sensible parental controls because when you have sensible parental controls, parents themselves can decide what their child can and can't access rather than the government trying to do it for them in a blanket approach that damages our privacy. Number two, it attacks end-to-end -end encryption and empowers the people to start spying on your private messages. So Ofcom under the Act can issue a notice under Section 122, which requires these private providers to start scanning your private messages. Some of these providers, like WhatsApp, have said they'd actually leave the UK rather than break end-to-end -end encryption on their platforms. Um, if they do that, millions of people will be deprived of a secure way to message each other. And this could particularly impact things like um, victims of domestic violence who might be subject to things like spyware. It might impact parents like myself who want to share pictures of their kids securely with family members rather than post them on social media. You know, it might impact those of you who want to send private messages to each other with disappearing messages so that, you know, they're not going to end up on social media. So really, millions of us rely on the privacy and security of end to end encryption gives us and the government is going to be attacking that with the so-called Online Safety Act. Number three is the attack on freedom of expression. Companies are going to be required to start scanning your posts before you even uh, publish them and taking down more content which is deemed possibly illegal or taking down content which breaks their community uh, guidelines. So it's, you're going to see a lot more of that when you go to publish something. Actually, this post is not able to be published because we think it, it breaks our community guidelines. Uh, a lot of the time, as you know, these algorithms are not great and stuff which is perfectly fine to be posting gets wrongly censored and taken down. So we're going to be moving into an age of increased internet uh, censorship here in the UK. So there are three ways in which the online safety bill actually damages you and your family's rights to privacy, your rights to freedom of expression. Rather than making you safer online, it creates a more dangerous society in which the government has more powers to censor free speech, to scan and place you under surveillance for your private messages. That doesn't make me feel safe. That makes me feel very alarmed and concerned about the type of society we are creating here in the UK. Open Rights Group, we're going to be continuing to campaign around these issues. We're going to be continuing to stand up for your freedom of expression online, stand up for things like your right to privacy, your ability to send end-to-end -end encrypted messages. Um, Ofcom are really going to struggle to implement huge parts of this bill and we're going to need to be there arguing for a more sensible approach to reducing harms online that doesn't actually violate people's fundamental rights.